So I had a session with my client and it was phenomenal. And we talked about imposter syndrome and this feeling that comes up when you just kind of feel like a fraud. And this is what I said to her. So I want to share this message with you before getting into today's video. So I said to her, imposter syndrome is nothing more than the point of contrast you hit when you start to walk away from everything that you experienced in your childhood and into the life you deserve to live. Because it's the point where you question whether what's happening is legit whether or not it's really real and it's only because you're really comparing it to your past but we'll, we'll get into that in the video it's where you question whether what's happening is really legit real warranted or justified so imposter syndrome is nothing more than a sign that you're headed in the right direction away from your past where you might have hated yourself didn't believe in yourself wasn't loved wasn't supported and into new territory where things look absolutely different so i'm going to give you an example so you can understand how the past plays a role in us having these feelings of imposter syndrome and why it can be so hard to combat and why you don't have to combat it at all and we'll get into that in the video as well so if i'm 32 and i spent the first 22 years of my life in a pit of self-hatred, low self-esteem. I didn't feel like people liked me. If I felt rejected often, it was hard to make friends. Guys didn't like me. For those 22 years, that is the bulk of my existence. I am now 32. And of course, in the last, I will really say not even a full 10 years, but definitely within the last seven years, I have done so much work to learn how to love myself, really appreciate who I am as a person and understand that there is love out there for me when it comes to friendships, when it comes to romantic relationships and understanding that I am made for, I am practically groomed for a particular profession where in the first 22 years of my life, I felt like a failure. In the first 22 years of my life, I felt very conflicted as to whether or not I had a place in this world. Now, the reason why a person may experience imposter syndrome is because they're starting to experience a different energy than what they're used to. So if we look at me for an example, the first 22 years of my life had energies of self-deprecation, of rejection, abandonment, and neglect. When I step into you know, this new life that I'm working so hard to forge for myself, when you start to prioritize your healing, when you start reading these books and you book sessions with coaches like myself to work on your self-development, to work on your self-love, you're going to start introducing energies that are very new. They are foreign. Why are they foreign? Foreign just means something that's not you know, typical, something that seems pretty exotic or pretty much outcast from the typical you know, thing. So in this case, we're talking about energy. This is a different energy than what a person's used to. If I'm 32, 22 is way, you know, <laughs> way um, longer than seven years, right? So if 22 is longer than the past seven years, obviously the 22 years of self-deprecation has more weight. And sometimes it can feel as though it has more power, but that's not necessarily true. The power lies in the now. Whatever you are constantly affirming for yourself, whatever you are constantly surrounding yourself with in the present will always have more power than the past. Where people get stuck is that they tell the stories of the past over and over and over again in the present. And thus, it takes away the power that you have in the now to actually change your life. But back to what I was saying about energy. Because I spent 22 years in a particular energy and now I'm spending seven years forging this new energy, there's a part of me that is fighting, that is resisting this new energy because our brain likes to be in a state of comfort. Your brain likes to solve problems it knows it can solve. Your brain doesn't really welcome discomfort and opportunities for growth with you know, with, with like, you know, great joy. Like no one looks forward to being stretched because it is uncomfortable. Because your brain prefers to be comfortable, your brain will resist things that take it outside of its energy. It's kind of like your body got used to a certain cocktail of hormones and now that you're trying to introduce more happiness, your body's trying to figure out what do I do with all this happiness that I'm not used to. 
you see how that can get a little bit trippy when you think about it from like a chemical standpoint. Well, from an identity standpoint, you begin to really confuse yourself on who you are. So much so, you begin to think you're actually a fraud, hence the imposter part of imposter syndrome. Except you're not a fraud. This is actually a new version of you that you have worked so hard to become, that you always deserve to become. And that feeling that, that, that tells you you're a fraud, this isn't you for real, is nothing more but these old years trying to convince you to go back to norm, go back to comfort. But that is no longer comfortable or normal for us. We actually don't even desire the old us. So I love to tell people, welcome imposter syndrome as a sign. If you are feeling uncomfortable, if you're like, I don't think this is really who I am, understand that what you're really saying is, this really isn't who I've always been. And ask yourself, how do you feel about that? Chances are you're gonna be pretty happy that you're stepping into new territory, that you look and feel different. And while it doesn't feel like the old you, we congratulate that. We welcome that because we don't want to be like the old us if the old us was ever someone that was in such a low vibrational state. So whenever you are experiencing imposter syndrome, welcome it as a sign that you are heading to new terrain, that you're heading and soaring to new heights that you've always deserved to be at. While it is uncomfortable, recognize that if you continue to affirm yourself, if you continue to believe in yourself and do the work day in, day out, and honestly, moment in, moment out, you will eventually find more people that support the energy that you're starting to vibrate in. And if you pay attention to your compliments, you're going to see a lot of affirmation that tells you you're exactly where you're supposed to be. As a matter of fact, you found this video, so you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Imposter syndrome is nothing but a sign you're heading in the right direction. Do not resist it. Embrace it. Recognize how far you've come. Pat yourself on the back and give yourself a round of applause for doing so much work to transcend that old version of you. If someone asked me today, Marcia, do you want to be any other version of you that you've ever been? My answer is absolutely not. While a lot of people in their 30s sometimes have a lot of nostalgia and begin to get sad about aging, and this is also the same for people in their 40s and, and, and 50s and, and older, I don't lament over my youth. I don't wish I was younger. If I, I don't wish for anything at all. I don't have any regrets because everything that happened to me, every version of, of, of myself that I was led me to who I am today. And I have a lot of pride in who I am today because she's not done. She's always progressing. She's always evolving, but I'm so glad for everything that she's been able to triumph over. And I hope you can say the same for yourself too, because life is hard. We're on this spinning chaotic rock together trying to figure it out. So allow yourself to feel the discomfort, recognize it's a sign and continue marching towards your dream life because trust me there's a version of you that couldn't have possibly imagined that you would be here today trying to heal thinking it's possible to be loved trying their best to love themselves and level up and figure out how to be their dream versions of themselves but you absolutely deserve that and i'm pretty sure every version of you every version of you that preceded the version of you watching this video today would give anything to be in your shoes right now. That's a lot to be proud of. I'm a life coach who helps clients who struggle with self-esteem issues, people-pleasing tendencies, and even imposter syndrome triumph, elevate, and evolve throughout this crazy journey called life. If you think you can benefit from talking to someone who is really straightforward, that gives you tough love, that holds you accountable, holds your feet to the fire as you aim for this new version of you, as you journey towards this new life, look no further. Head to the link in the description. Follow me on TikTok and all platforms and let's get to work. Let's get to that dream version of you. Let's make that eight-year-old version of you so proud of who you are at this very age. That's it for me. Gotta go to Target now. Love you. Bye.